Have I led you to think the Alaska Highway is all snow-capped peaks with their heads in the clouds? That's yeah, pretty much it, actually. Our trek north continues to dazzle us with beauty and grandeur, leaving the motorcycle traveler feeling both insignificant and on top of the world. Our daily mileage pretty modest in proportion to the time we spend stopping and gawking. With friends like this, who needs children? Here are a couple of important things to know about the Alaska Highway. The mountains are beautiful and the mosquitoes are thick. Turn that thing off. Let's get my helmet back on. But mosquitoes are only the beginning of the roadside wildlife exhibit. We saw lots of buffalo, and though we didn't get pictures of them all, there were also horses, deer, moose, caribou, other breeds of sheep, swans, and bear. So where's the bear? Ah, right there. This one's black. We also saw brown. No, we did not feed them. The rule, of course, is buffalo have the right of way. Greg told us about another rule he learned working at the zoo as a kid. Always keep something between you and the big animals. In this case, that motorhome will do just fine, thank you. And then there was the Indian. A 1936 model, six years older than the Alaska Highway, ridden all over Alaska by Dennis Magri on the right, shirt tail relation to California motorcycle legend Armando Magri. Hauling a souvenir someone gave him along the way, Dominic Magri accompanies his dad, his choice of rides, a 44-year-old BSA. So why do this on vintage motorcycles? You get to build them, work on them, and prove your mechanical skills. I'll say it again, the most interesting thing about motorcycles is the people who ride them. And so after a few more snow-capped peaks with their heads in the clouds and 1,965 miles since we entered Canada, we finally reach Alaska. Fortunately, the one of us who can actually work a camera timer is also in the best shape. Go, go Chris, go! Go, Chris, go! Go, Chris, go! Go, Chris, go! Go, Chris, go! Go! Cheese! Thus, the official team picture of our big summer adventure and a big attaboy for Chris and then this. 5,799 miles from home, it's decision time in the town of Toke, Alaska. Go that way, all the way to the Arctic Ocean, you arrive at the adventure motorcyclist destination, Prudhoe Bay. Go that way, and we're told we'll see some of the prettiest parts of Alaska. In fact, a trucker told us, if you ride all the way up there just to say you did it and miss everything over there, you're making a big mistake. We have to make a decision. I think we need a riders meeting. To find out which way we choose, tune in next week for the final installment in this little Alaska travelogue. See you there.